a story we're bringing you all new at five. This harmless looking metal box is actually a scary surveillance tool. Yeah, how this device is often used is illegal, but that doesn't stop law enforcement from using it to collect your text messages, even your phone calls. Our investigation found those devices pose a real concern for anyone who uses a cell phone downtown during the convention. It has local advocacy groups on edge and eager to warn everyone that someone might be listening in. Our Kristen Volk is live on Five Downtown with her exclusive investigation. Kristen, what'd you find? Lee, they are commonly known by their brand names, Stingray and Triggerfish. The FBI, Cleveland Police, and the Secret Service would not confirm or deny that these devices will be used during convention week. But we spoke to two people today who know all about them. And their advice is to be aware and be ready of what they believe is likely to happen. This summer at the RNC, it's practically a foregone conclusion that stingrays will be in use, whether by the Cleveland Division of Police or the FBI or the Secret Service or whomever. What you're looking at is what's called a stingray, a metal box with multiple switches that can easily fit inside of a suitcase. Although its size is small, its power, according to the local chapter of the National Lawyers Guild, is mighty. This is a problem because stingrays are used in excessive secrecy. Um, Police use stingrays and they do so to conduct indiscriminate searches. Stingrays are capable, if they're able to intercept access keys, for example, of intercepting phone calls, text messages, potentially even data streams. This man, who did not want to be identified because he does security testing, has studied stingrays for the past four years. They operate based on setting themselves up as a spoofed cell phone tower. He explained the devices are more often used by federal, state, and local investigators to track suspects in criminal cases. But they have also been known to be used by police during protests to gather intel, in which case any cell phone within about a half mile can be tapped for information. And the Lawyers Guild says all of this is usually done without a search warrant. The violations of our rights under the Fourth Amendment, our rights to privacy, the rights against unreasonable searches and seizures are being violated on mass scales. The Department of Justice has this policy posted online about using stingrays, and in here it says investors are appropriately and lawfully. Now, as for that tech expert we spoke to, he said there are whether a stingray may be in use around you, he said the first way to detect it is if your cell phone battery dies within minutes or your signal strength significantly and suddenly decreases. And there is a way to protect yourself and your information from stingrays. He said to download an app called Signal. That's an encryption app that can be found on iPhone and Android. Live in News Channel 5.